Don't be afraid to sit there and stand up for your ancestors. That's Don't right. Don't be afraid because the white man is right here. Teach. This Bible is for you. It's to give you your power back. Don't right. let no white man walk up and make you afraid. Good. Good. They hate that the prophets are back teaching our people the truth. We are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. That is who we are. You know why men, black men kill each other? Because they don't see each other as Jesus Christ. We are Israelites on the time to do. Let's look to Hebrews uh, 7 to 14. Because they don't see each other as Jesus Christ. You believe in Jesus Christ, right? I do. All right. Do you believe that people lie on Jesus Christ? Yes. Do you believe that people have been uh, uh, exploiting people by the name of Jesus Christ yes. and not by what Jesus Christ represents? Mm -hmm. All right. So let's get that. John 7, 38. Thank you, officer. I'll go ahead. John chapter 7, verse 38. Uh-huh. He that believeth on me. So this is what Jesus Christ said out of his own mouth. Then I want Matthew 24, and I think it's, uh, uh, yeah, you know what I want. 24, 24. Go ahead, read. He that believeth on me, as the scriptures have said. So watch this, sis. Jesus Christ says, if you believe on me as the scriptures say, read, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Ah, uh, you'll have understanding. So Matthew 24, 24, this is also something else Jesus Christ said and why he gave that warning. The Bible is full of warnings for the children of Israel. You want to know why? Because we think just because the days go on that Christ is not coming back as he said. That the days are not going to be short and that judgment is not coming. That's why a lot of our people just move like whatever, I'm cool with doing what I do. No. Christ says you better believe on me as the scripture said because I am coming back and I'm not coming to meet you as a man. I'm coming with all power in my hand. Read Matthew chapter 24, verse 24. Uh-huh. For there shall arise false Christ. There shall arise false Christ. So when you said it doesn't matter what he looks like, Christ says it does. If you believe on me as the scriptures say, you'll be able to recognize the real from the fake. Right. You'll be able to know what doctrines are of me. You will know what doctrines are of the devil. You understand that? So we sh it should matter what Christ looks like. Read on. And false prophets. And false prophets, because you got certain pastors that say, I come in the name of the Lord, but all they're doing is pimping the women right. and taking the people's money. Right. Read Let's on. Just keep it real. Read on. And shall show great signs. And show great signs. They'll have prayer clause, this, that, and the third. Read on. And wonders. Uh huh. And so much that, if it were possible. If it were possible, if they don't read the Bible, read. They shall deceive the very elect. So God has an elect people that are going to be sealed with his laws and instructions that if they don't read and follow the scriptures as they say you will be deceived to follow the false image of Christ. Right. So let's get what Christ looks like. Let's get what he looks like because I guarantee you this is what you see in your church. If you have, you got children? You got four children. Any of them young young? They, they're grown. All right. But watch this. I guarantee you if you, you got grandkids you got young children? Young children are going to always say, that, oh, that's Jesus. That's Jesus. But is that according to the mind and the media? Or is that according to the Bible? Jesus Christ says, he that believeth on me as the scripture has said. Let's see what the scriptures say. Read. Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. Uh -huh. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So the hairs on his head were not shaven. The hairs on his face? We're not shaving. They were white in color and woolly in texture. You understand that? So, as a, uh, what's your nationality, sir? Let me ask that question. What's your nationality? I don't know. I'm calling myself an American. Okay. All right, we'll, we'll deal with that in a little bit. But this is how we recognize real Christ from the fake one. Read on. As white as snow. As white as snow. So not his skin, but the hairs on his head 
and the hairs on his face were white in color, woolly in texture. Read on. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Because he drank wine in moderation. He wasn't a drunkard like some of our people out today, getting drunk just for, for, for fun. Read on. And his feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass? What color is brass? Brass? Like, all right, so what family would that be in? Huh? What, what, my brother, what color is brass? Brass. You ever you, you went to high school and they got the brass in the band? Yeah. What color are those trumpets in the, in the trombones usually? That's brass section, right? Yeah. What color is it? Like a real shiny, like a gold. Like a gold, right? Yeah. In the brown family, right? Yeah. Like that, okay. So now we're describing what Jesus Christ looks like. It says his hair was white and woolly on his head and his face. But then it also said his eyes were red like a flame of fire, which means he drank wine in moderation. But then it says his feet were like on the fine brass, so like brown, right? But let's see how brown and what complexion it was. Read. As if they burn in a furnace. As if they burn in a furnace. Come over here for a second. I'm going to show you something real quick. Because it's actually in your flyer too. So is this image brown? Nope. But that's what we got in our churches, right? Yeah. You know. So which between all these images here and this image, which one would be the depiction of Christ according to the Bible? White and woolly hair, feet. And, all right. So what has happened is in our churches, we have been lied to. And all throughout the Bible, we've been receiving warnings. Christ said, be warned that false Christs are going to arise. And they surely did. Because this is the same image that accompanied our slavery. And that's the same image that a lot of people have in their heads till this day. That's why we hate each other as a people. Because when I see you as a black man with white wood, or with, with, you got black woolly hair, right? On your head, on your face and on your head, I don't respect you. I don't see you as a king. I don't see you as a priest. I don't see you as a ruler. I just see you as a regular nigga. I see you as a slave. That's that hatred that we get with this white image of Christ. We think he's God, and everybody who looks like him is God. But then we want to talk about black unity, and then we'll cry to the white man about all oh, black lives matter. Black lives matter this. They look at us like we're crazy. So, right. That, that, that mindset is something the white man created. You're right. In slavery. But the Bible is going to fix all of that. It's going to put that all into subjection, because guess what? Do you think there's a punishment? Do you, th do you think there's a reward for us coming back to the Bible? You're learning your true history, but besides that, you're learning their Bible. Huh? Besides the, uh, they're trying to teach you your true history, but we're you're learning. learning it from their side of it. No, 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 no. Because why is this? You said we're learning their Bible? Yeah. The Bible is ours. Right. Understand that. The Bible is ours. That's why is this? Get Revelations 13 and 9. You have to be able to understand what the Bible is saying. Because who did this to us? Did we do it to ourselves? No. Did uh, we create this image of Jesus Christ? Or did another nation create that image of Jesus Christ? Right. So why did all this happen? You want to know why? Because we broke God's laws and gave up our power. Right. But God says if we come back to keeping his commandments, we will gain understanding. But what will we understand in that? Read. Revelation chapter 13 and verse 9. If this is their book. The, the Bible wouldn't say this. Read. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Read Gain it. understanding by reading the Bible, by keeping God's commandments. Read. He that leadeth into captivity. Who led us into captivity? Let me ask you. What's your name, bro? Tron. Who led us into captivity? Who led us into captivity? Who led us into this captivity? Who did that to your forefathers? Split his back open, uh, stacked us up on slave ships like you know. sardines. Who did it? Who did it? Don't, I don't want you to say it. You said this day book. The, this book says something different. Who did that to us? Bless us people. Huh? Bless us people. Uh, I, I don't know what you're saying. You're mumbling words now. Bless us people. We did that? We, so we split our own backs open and we put ourselves on the slave ships? We gave in to their power. We didn't give in to their power. We didn't we didn't harness our own power by keeping God's commandments. Hold on for a second. But guess what? Hey, I'm gonna tell you who did 
The white man did it. Right. Hey, don't be damn afraid to say that the white man did this. Right. We did it from the That's top. That's his mentality. Revelation chapter 13, verse 9. Read. Go. If any man have an ear. If any man got an ear, listen up. Oh, Read. Oh, oh, Let him hear. Uh-huh. He that leadeth into captivity. The white man led us into captivity. He did. Read. Shall go into captivity. What's going to happen to the white man? Shall go into captivity. He's gonna go into captivity. That's he, right. He that killed with the sword. He killed us with the sword. He right. must be killed with the sword. He must be what? Must be killed with the sword. Hey, black man. Hey, I'm gonna tell you something. The Bible is for us. Right. This is written by it. our we'll people. Next week God is black. Christ is black. Right Don't be afraid to black. sit there and stand up this for your right. ancestors. That's right. Don't be afraid because the white man is right here. Teach. This Bible is for you. It's to give you your power back. Don't right. let no white man walk up and make you afraid. Right. Good. You understand? Don't let no white man walk up and make you afraid to stand up for who you are. That's right. To stand up for your Christ and for your people. Read from the top again. He that leadeth into captivity. Read. Shall go into captivity. The damn white man is going into captivity. Right. That's Read. right. He that killeth with the sword. Uh-huh. Must be killed with the sword. The white man must be killed with the sword. Thus save God. That's Not right. these brothers in purple, but thus save God. Read. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. It's what? The patience of the saints. That's We're right. We're patiently waiting for that. Give me Isaiah 14 and 1. Hey, it's Get time up. for us to stop being afraid. It's time for the black man to stand up. Read. Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 1. Uh -huh. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. The Most High is going to have mercy on you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans if you return back to him. Right. But guess what? It don't take but a white man to make you turn away from the wild from God. It ain't take but a white man to walk up and you'll turn away from hearing the Bible. Gee. Hey, do you believe in God? Do you believe in the Bible? Hey, when it's time for this real truth to come out, the black man is scared to stand up for what's true. Read. And will yet choose Israel. Then God is going to choose you. He's going to choose you repentant black men. You black men that ain't afraid to stand up for God's laws. Right. You black hey. men who ain't afraid to stand up for Christ. Sis, let me ask you a question. Hey, sis, let me ask you a question. What color is Christ? I don't know. You don't know? Indian. What have you been taught? Indian. Have you been taught that he was white? Hey, the black man won't, or any black woman won't say what they've been taught. That's right. Hey. I guarantee you, watch this. Hey, Esau. Hey, what color is Christ? Hey, he's transparent. Every color. Now he's you can see straight color. through him. Now you can see straight through him in every color. The only color they ever make is this pale faced devil. Right. Hey. But yet, when you ask him, he's transparent. The white man is a damn liar. Right. The white man been a liar since birth. Pretty from the top. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. The Most High is going to have mercy on Jacob, which is you black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. That's Read. right. And will yet choose Israel. He's going to choose you, black man. Read. Right. And set them in their own land. He's going to put you back in your own land. And guess what? America is not our land. Right. Read. And the stranger. And the strangers shall be joined with them. They're going to be cleaving to the house of Israel. Read. And they shall flee to the house of Jacob. They're going to do what? Flee to the house of Jacob. The so-called white man and Native American, the so-called African, they're going to cleave to the uh, house of Jacob. Free. And the people shall take them. And they're going to do what? Take them. We're going to take them and bring them to their place. We're going to bring them to our place. Free. And the house of Israel shall... What are we going to do? And the house of Israel okay. shall possess them. We're going to possess someone. Yeah. When you possess someone, what does that mean? That means you get to get the real sake. Hey, ain't we gonna own them? That's right. Uh, hey, the same way the right. white man owned us, Hello. guess what? We gonna yeah. own them. Read. Right. And the house of Israel oh, shall hey. possess them in the land of the Lord. For what? For service. Uh -huh. And handmaid. Guess what? You should patiently want them. Hey, so guess what? Have we not been kept in hell on this earth? Have we not been catching hell on this earth? That's Are we right. not getting shot down on the yeah. street? Yeah. Are we not getting drugs in our community? Yeah. Are they not oppressing us? Yeah. Yeah. But guess what? Salvation is coming to us. Yeah. Our Christ, yeah. our big brother, is coming back to redeem us. Yeah. Coming back to set us in our land and to save us from our enemies. Read it.
Luke chapter 1, verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Blessed be the Lord God of who? Israel. You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the Israelites. That's right. For he has visited and redeemed his people. Uh -huh. And has raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant day, which is Jesus Christ. Free. And he's faith by the mouth of his holy prophet. Uh -huh. Which have been since the world began. That we what? That we should be saved from our enemies. That we should be what? Saved from our enemies. Hey, brother, if you're not tired of your enemies shooting you down in the street, if you're tired of it, come and stand up and hear the word of the Lord. Don't let no woman fool you away. Right? Hear the word of the Lord. The time for black men to stand up. Hey, right, guess what? That bus will keep coming all day long. But guess what? The problem ain't going to be here all day long. Give you the answer. How you can get back to school. You tired of your enemies? You tired of being at the bottom? And guess what? It's time to learn how to get out of this position. That's, That's right. What we did. So I think it's hard to go back to the room. Hey, when I said that, I got to do Listen to this, bro. Luke chapter 1, verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. So guess what? He ain't the Lord of everyone. Read it. For he has visited and redeemed his people uh -huh. and has raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. That horn of salvation, that's the black Messiah, Jesus Christ. That's right. As he spake by the mouth of his holy brother, uh -huh. which have been since the world began. Since this world began, guess what? God has raised up prophets to teach this Bible to raise up his people. Read. That we should be saved. That we should be what? Saved. Saved. Free. From our enemies. From who? Our enemies. Let's recognize who the enemy is. The enemy put chains on our neck. The enemy put us on slave ships. The enemy gave us white man Jesus. The enemy has been lying to us, oppressing us. And guess what? We the one that needs saving. We. And from the hand of all that hate us. Hate him all the white. That hate us. The white man does what? Hate us. He hates our guts. That's right. But guess what? The Jesus Christ of our Father hey. loves us. Oh. And he's coming back to save his children. That's right. And that's what you should be patiently waiting for. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.